peanut butter shot was not as bad as everybody made it sound. In my bag now. Hey guys, Serena Gray here again with another BNC related video. First, I just want to start by saying thank you for all of the support. Um, I guess these videos are really helping, so I'm going to continue to make them. Alright, so I'm going to start off by making the video about the zero and first week week progression. So, first thing that's going to happen about your first or second day, you're going to go get your hair cut. So, you're going to get all your hair cut off. Your beautiful mane is going to be gone. After you get your hair cut, then you are going to get your first issued items. So that's going to be your ABUs, your Airman Battle Uniform. And if you come into BMT uh, after 2020, then you're going to be issued OCPs because ABUs, are go which are like the lighter color uniform, those are going to be out of style. We're, not, we're no longer going to use those after 2021. After you're issued your uniform, uh, the next day you're going to get a bunch of shots. And not the peanut butter shot, not yet. That is the second time. That you get shots so the first time you're just gonna get like vaccination shots so you're gonna get a shot in your left arm your right arm you're gonna get a bunch of shots it's gonna be anywhere from like three to six depending on what shots that you already have um also you're gonna have a hearing test and your mti is not gonna tell you nobody's gonna tell you you know what day you're really doing what there's actually a schedule in the day room on the wall and I didn't find the schedule until about second week so if you go first week look at the schedule on the day room on the little bulletin board that'll really help you out it's gonna tell you exactly what you're doing every day but yeah the peanut butter shot the peanut butter shot was not as bad as everybody made it sound like I mean you know at first when you first get it it's like oh that wasn't comfortable I don't ever want to do that again but it's honestly not that bad um, and you know, for me, after like a few hours, you know, I didn't feel any pain, but then like, for some reason, about like two days later, I just, I just felt sore and I'm over here like rubbing my butt, looking all weird and stuff. So that might happen. You might get sore a few days later, but then after that, it's gone. It's worth it. Um, it's penicillin shots. So that way, you know, you don't get sick while you're at BNC. Uh, if you are allergic to penicillin though, you get a get out of jail free card. So if you're not allergic to it, get allergic to it and you can, you know, completely just avoid that. So after your shots, I believe it was the, the same day as the peanut butter shot. Um, that night for us, it was really late in the night. You're going to go and take your, your, your analysis test, your drug test. So... Um, this time it shouldn't be as hard as it was at MEPS because as soon as you get to BMT, you know, they're going to let you know that you have to drink three quarters to one water bottle per hour, not to exceed 16 water bottles per day. They're going to drill into your head. So you're going to be pretty well hydrated. So you should be able to pee. But I mean, if you're anything like I was, you won't be able to, and you're going to be in the front of the line and you're going to go, you can't pee. Then you have to drink a whole lot of water and then wait in line again and then almost have to pee your pants and dance. Just be ready for a uh, drug test as soon as you get to BMT, about three days later. As well as your uniform, you're going to be issued your PT gear and your running shoes. The shoes that you're gonna be issued, they're either gonna be the New Balances or they're going to be some Brooks. You do have the option to wear the running shoes that you brought or the running shoes that were issued and put them in, in your civilian luggage. It's completely up to you, but you will be um, issued the uh, the new balances of the Brooks. You will start PT during your zero through first week. It's not gonna be straight away. I think it's gonna be like a few days into while you're there. Um, it's not gonna be the same as the older week groups though. Um, what's mainly gonna be different is your run days. So instead of running around the track for like 33 minutes like everybody else, you're going to run for three minutes, then you're going to walk for three minutes, then you're going to run for three minutes consecutively for the whole 33 minutes. Um, also, you're going to do some like warm ups that we don't do in later weeks, but um, eventually you're going to go on with the older week groups and you're just going to run for that whole 33 minutes the whole time. Um, this is all to get you prepared for your initial PT test. Your initial PT test doesn't really count for anything. It's just to see, you know, where you're starting at. Um, so it's going to be your mile and a half run, 
That's gonna be how many push-ups you can do in a minute and how many sit-ups you can do in a minute. Um, I do have a video out on PT. So it tells you all the exercises that we did at PT, the cool downs and the warm ups and the actual exercises. So check that out. I'll have the link in the description. Um, so yeah, you will definitely get better. So don't sweat it if you don't do too well on your very first PT test because I know my first, my run time was at 13.30, I believe. And then I got it down to 10.30. So every single day, you're gonna have this thing called dust downs, and it's exactly what it sounds like. You're going to wipe down, you know, the entire the entire dorm. Um, so you're gonna get all the dust from out of the corners, off the wall locker, off your bed, off your chair, and bring it to the center aisle. Then somebody's gonna sweep it up and put it in the trash can. It's a pretty simple process, and it's but it's gonna get irritating because you have to do it every single night, and you're gonna wonder where the dust comes from. The dust comes from your beds because you literally have dust cover beds. Yes, it sounds like it's working against you, and it is, but you're gonna that's something you're gonna have to do every night. Aside from dust downs, you're gonna have details. So those are chores that you have to do while you're in the dorms, and you're gonna do these also every day. Um, the details are latrine crew. So latrine crew, you clean the bathroom. There's gonna be about nine people on latrine crew somebody doing toilets, somebody doing sinks, mirrors, however you want to organize it. You know, you have the latrine crew who's in, or the latrine chief, and you have the latrine crew. The latrine chief kind of tells everybody who does what in the bathroom. You have the end of bed display personnel. So what that person does is fixes the towels, the laundry bag, and the backpack on the end of the bed to make sure it looks uh, presentable how it's supposed to look have the shoe liner that's self-explanatory bed aligner also self-explanatory you line up the beds you line up the shoes make sure they're both in a straight line you have the bed tightener so the bed tightener tightens beds that are have already been made so it's also a pretty easy job I want to let you guys know what each one of these jobs are so that way when the MCI calls out the jobs you'll know you already have an idea of which one you want so as soon as you hear it raise your hand flight office crew so flight office crew cleans the flight office the flight office is where the MTI sits it's like the MTI's office where it has their computer and everything like that water monitor water monitor um, when you go to chow so breakfast lunch and dinner the water monitor is two of them pours out the water for the entire flight and then they eat after everybody else has gotten their water have element leaders so element leaders are like student leaders almost they stand in the front of the flight and uh, if something goes wrong with the flight um, flights get in trouble or something like that the element leaders and the dorm chief are gonna be held accountable the dorm chief is like the head honcho uh, student leader while you're at BMT so the dorm chief will get the most uh, the most smoke from the NTIs if something goes wrong with the flight, if somebody's acting up or if the whole flight's acting up. Also have the guide on bearer. So if you have done RTC, you should be familiar with this. It's the person that holds the flag in the front of the formation. The laundry crew, uh, which is about four people that do laundry for um, the entire flight. So you four people doing laundry for about 50 people. You have the hallway crew, which just sweeps up the hallway. Uh, wipes off the clock and the um, water fountains. We have the day room crew who cleans up the day room. It's pretty self-explanatory. Make sure uh, the board is wiped off. There's nothing left on the board. Make sure all the TVs are cleaned off. The floor is without dust. Um, the chairs aren't up against the wall. Um, making sure everything is in tip-top shape. So there is the dreaded chow runner. Um, everybody says, you know, don't go for chow runner, but Honestly, I'd go for it. If you want to get a head start and you know be confident, I'd go for being a chow runner because um, on the, the second day that you're at BMT, you're gonna be put on the spot. So you're gonna have to be you know face to face with an MTI or possibly a group of MTIs um, in the snake pit at the chow hall. This is where all the MTIs sit. And you're gonna have to do your facing movements and your reporting statement. Um, and they're gonna they're gonna test you out like the very first day that you go to chow. So, you know, if you wanna be the best you can be, 
honestly go for chopper. We have road guards, so when we're going long distances in an entire flight, um, road guards wear vests and they run out and they uh, they hold traffic until we pass the road. And then also, last but not least, we have the weapons monitor. So the weapons monitor is accountable for all the weapons. If something's wrong with it, then you notify the weapons monitor and the weapons monitor notifies the MTI. And um, then the MTI will take care of it. Um, weapons monitor will go down with the dorm chief also at the end of the day um, to CQ, which is kind of like the headquarters for the squadron, for all the dorms in your squadron. And uh, we'll tell CQ how many weapons are accounted for. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all that happens for your zero through first week. Mainly just getting accustomed to everything that's going to happen for the next eight and a half weeks. Um, so remember, you guys can check out the video that I have on PT. Um, I'll have the link down in the description. And I have a few more other, vid few other videos um, explaining things about BMT. But that was your zero through first week. Um, you know what to do, subscribe, because I'm going to have... Uh, second week and third week coming up in the next videos. All right, until next time. Oh, baby girl, you just gotta be worthy. Yeah, yeah. But you don't gotta be perfect. Oh, oh, oh.